Dear audience, welcome to Nusfest Atis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. So today's news, I am Mirongi Tacho, stay with us. The Great Interim Administration, TPLF, say election board decision unacceptably, legally, politically. Caution that endangers existence of interim administration renders peace process honorless. The Great Interim Regional Administration and the Tigray People's Division Front TPLF rejected a decision last week by National Election Board of Ethiopia declining to reinstate TPLF's registration as a political party. The Interim Regional Administration said the decision endangers the existence of the inclusive interim administration in the region and hinders the interim peace process, signed between the federal government and the TPLF, which paved ways for the establishment of the interim administration. It also said the decision to stop the existence of the TPLF, the main owner of the peace agreement, is unacceptable by law and in politics. TPLF echoed a similar response and said the decision by the board is unacceptable based on the agreement reached in Pretoria and the law. National Electoral Board of Ethiopia's decision last week stated that even though the armed violence that was the reason for the board's decision no longer exists, there are no provisions in Proclamation Number 1162-2019 to restore the legal personality to the party. It also rejected TPLF TPLF's request to remove its decision denying TPLF's official legal status and to restore the party's property, citing lack of provision in the electoral law. Instead, National Electoral Board of Ethiopia said that TPLF can acquire a legal personality and operate as a political party in accordance with Article 66 of Proclamation 1162-2019 and its subsequent provision when it submits a re-registration request and the board approves the request based on the law. Tigray's interim administration, which constitutes Tigrayan forces, civil society and an opposition party cautioned that such decision by the board renders the peace agreement meaningless and denies the recognition of the senior leaders of the TPLF who are participating in the inclusive interim administration on behalf of the TPLF. Similarly, the TPLF, one of the oldest political parties in Ethiopia, said the decision will not be accepted by the party, adding that it will discuss it with the relevant stakeholders. National Electoral Board of Ethiopia's decision to reject TPLF as a legal status of registration came despite a decision by the House of People's Representative to delist the terrorist designation of the TPLF. Removing the terrorist designation of the party was included in the African Union broke cessation of hostilities agreement, which stipulated that, as a part of the implementation of the cessation of agreement, the federal government should facilitate the lifting of the terrorist designation of the TPLF by the House of People Representatives. In their statement released last night, both the Interim Regional Administration and TPLF have requested the board to correct its decision based on the pre cessation of hostilities agreement between the federal government and the TPLF and the decisions passed by other federal institutions. The agreement has been recognized internationally and nationally. The African Union, IGAD, the United Nations, the European Union, the governments of various countries have given their recognition and support. TPLF rather said agreement is fundamentally centered on peace, human rights, democracy, accountability, and a return to constitutional order. Considering the unnecessary pressure the board's decision puts on the federal government and on the positive efforts of peace and cooperation advanced so far, as well as federal government's responsibility to ensure that legal decisions and agreements are respected by all government and institutions and bodies. The board's decision must be re-examined, the TPLF said. It called on the issues that are raised to be resolved using the available legal and political option in a straightforward manner that will return the party it is pre-war status to fully implement the Peritrea Peace Agreement and to strengthen the peace efforts that have been initiated. And this was our news for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.